Now sports with Chris Dewar from the Little Jess Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram Sports Desk. With the majority of the Tuesday night schedule getting washed out, what was already slated to be a robust Wednesday of postseason action in both the Show Me State and the Land of Lincoln, well, it got supersized tonight. We start off with the delayed Quincy Notre Dame versus Auburn soccer regional title match. It turned out to be merely a stay of execution for the good folks from Auburn. Just three minutes in, yeah, this happens. It's Michaela Patton on cleanup duty. And just like that, the Lady Raiders would jump out in this one to a 1-0 lead. They make it happen and make it happen nicely at this point. Later, a little bit later in this one, how about Sage Stratton time? She is going to sneak by a defender and let fly with that thunderfoot of hers to make it at this point a 2-0 lead in favor of the Lady Raiders. Still in the first half, Sage and company not done. This time again, it would be Michaela Patton stepping up and doing what she does, putting on the brakes and then going up or 90. It's 3-0. That was the lead for Quincy Notre Dame at the half. Second half, 30 seconds in. Man, Quincy Notre Dame like a flash of fury in this one. Ellison Barnes with the cross to Michaela Patton who finds the back of the net. That's officially the hat trick for Miss Patton. Some great passing here as well is going to make a golden sombrero, if you will, for Miss Michaela Patton. A fourth goal as it's Sage Stratton to Addie Flesh to Michaela Patton to finish off. How about Addie Flesh getting in on the action as well? She would register a goal as well to extend the lead out to 6 to nothing. Allie Meyer would add one late as well. q &E wins going away in this one, 7 to nothing. The Lady Raiders punch their ticket to the Riverton sectional semifinals coming up on Friday against Alton Marquette. The news not nearly as good for Quincy High School as the Blue Devils are filled tonight at Alton by Granite City. Final count in that one was 4-1. to one. Lone goal on the day for the Blue Devils comes from Naomi Wilson. All right, let's move on to softball now. Regional semifinal at Havana between Triopia and Lewistown in this one. And yes, that is just a sophomore in Miley Tracy in the circle, but she is a menace. And man, she was tough to hit in this game. Two strikeouts in the top of the first to set the tone. She had 11 Ks in all, no runs, and just two hits allowed. That makes things really easy for the Triopia offense. They delivered early. Lindy Parlier right here with a nifty seeing eye single up the first baseline sets the wheels in motion for Addison Roan, who crushes this just over the third baseman's head. And that makes it one to nothing again. That would be all at that point that Miley Tracy would need. But Ray Greenstreet was like Bad Street Havana IL tonight. Getting the job done with not just the sack fly, but a home run later. All Triopia as they went six to nothing up next for Triopia. A showdown with Havana for a chance to win a regional title coming up on Friday night in that one. All right, let's move over to Barry. Payson versus Western. Yeah, for a chance at that championship matchup coming up on Friday as well. Indians got down three to nothing after the top of the first there in comeback mode here. Ella Archer gonna help out big time right here with a nifty piece of hitting. That is an RBI double, and all of a sudden, Payson Seymour has seized the lead at five to three. But here comes Western in comeback mode. Carly Colgrove gonna deliver big right here with a nifty piece of hitting on her own that's an RBI rip to make it at that point five to four but you know what Western wasn't done Briley Westfall gonna do the deed as well and tie this thing up at five apiece just a little bit later Pace and Seymour looked like they were gonna erupt with the power ball Grace Klitz bangs one off the fence for a double but really what happened from that point forward seven unanswered runs a lot of it's small ball kind of middling stuff, but it all worked, including Miss Klitz right here delivering the fielder's choice RBI. A lot of pass balls worked against Western. They lose to Payson Seymour, 12 to five is your final. Other softball to pass along. We can tell you tonight that it was Liberty winning in walk-off fashion to advance five to four earlier in the day at Western. They will take on Payson Seymour on Friday night. Allie Leffringhouse playing the hero in that one. Over at Camp Point Central today, Ava Wombles with a bomb today and the win in the circle as Pleasant Hill beats Unity. Other side of things, Central rallies back to beat Southeastern 5-4. Lauren Miller, the hero, with a walk-off there. So Central versus Pleasant Hill coming up Saturday at 10 for a regional championship. Man, they played a lot of innings tonight for Illini West and West Hancock in the Tremont uh, regional, which was played, by the way, at Carthage. And in 11 innings, it would be Illini West pulling off the win 6-5, to five, your final. Let's do some baseball 
You know Concord Triopia is absolutely loaded as a regional. In fact, they've got the biggest dog in the pool and route Catholic. And bottom of the first, how about this? Isaac Long is going to score right here on a throwing air by Rushville Industry. Made it one to nothing. Not the only score in the frame. Conrad Charpentier is going to be standing on third base with two outs. An intended pickle move. And Conrad, yes, he's going to play this very, very slyly. And yes, he's bouncing around and he's going to score before a tag is applied. In fact, no tag applied. It's 2 nothing like that. That's going to help Conrad Charpentier, the pitcher. Conrad Charpentier, the clever base runner. Conrad Charpentier with 11 strikeouts. And man, I tell you what, you cannot stake this guy, Philly, to a lead because he's really, really good. Perhaps the ace of aces in tri-state baseball. He's getting the most out of everything. And yeah, just the swings weren't close in some cases at this point. Still, to add a little bit more to this route, Catholic going back to work. Bottom of the fifth, Brady Turner's going to get on base, and Bryson Mossman is going to slice one oppo to score him. And yes, route Catholic is going to win and hold off Rushville Industry. Four to one is your final there. Other action tonight, Liberty jumped out to an early lead in baseball at the Liberty Re Regional on Unity, but man, the Mustangs having none of it. They erupt and get the win. 11 to one is your final. They punch their ticket to the finals of that regional coming up against a yet-to-be-determined opponent. Also tonight, Illini Bluffs ends BPC season. It was McComb pulling off the major upset at Carthage tonight. McComb with the win over Cuba, 8-1 to your final there. And Quincy Notre Dame had a perfect game from Abram Wewell working into the fifth inning. Sacred Heart Griffin is just really strong. They get the win, 3-1 to your final there. SHG will advance to take on either Pittsfield or Williamsville. Those two teams end up playing tomorrow. Let's do some other baseball scores in Northeast Missouri. Man, that Van Far Cinderella run continues. Van Far is a district champion with a big win over Sturgeon. They take on Schuyler County uh, coming up on Monday night. Also on the docket, Monroe City. Uh, let's do that score for you if we can. Monroe City falls to Palmyra 11 to 6. That sets up the district final. We had a whole bunch of stuff that had to happen first over at Shelbina tonight. First of all, Highland eliminates South Shelby in the early game by the final count in that one of 11 to 3. And then Clark County punches its ticket to take on Palmyra with a 15 0 lead. Big night for Tristan. Pitford, who ended up with a home run and five ribbies. Let's do some track and field Farmington sectional. Guys trying to punch their ticket to state in Charleston. The West Hancock 4x8 squad, man, they were good today. Second place to an Alito squad that may win the whole darn thing. The Titans come in at 819. It's the team of Quinton Althar, the Quinlans, Parker and Dominic, and Evan Carroll. Good stuff by those gentlemen. And then how about Illini West tonight? Running in the 4 by one and having to do so without Isaiah Knotts. They still take second place despite that adversity behind Alito. 43-9-7, Colin Kerfman, Ian Bensinger, and Thomas Chandler. Speaking of Bensinger, the Zinger qualified in all four events, ran a 10-7 in the 100 tonight to punch his ticket to state in four event so congratulations to him could not load up any final scores from Rushville industry so can't tell you what was going on there try to update that maybe on the web later or tomorrow finally tonight we had regular season baseball in southeast Iowa believe it or not we've reached that point in the season Fort Madison now 2-0 on the season Hunter Cresswell not just for basketball anymore